doing? My name's Dave, and if you're hearing in 3D, you can call me Davey Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? All right, so the nice folks at Blue Mangu had reached out on the audio bus forum, and they said, hey, anybody looking to do uh, videos on binaural location, our new app? And I said, yes, I'll do a video on binaural location. So here we are, and here's my video about binaural location. Thanks for joining me. So Blue Mangu put out this app, and the idea is that it's supposed to place your sound inside a virtual 3d room in your head okay headphones are a must for this video this video is not going to make any sense if you don't have headphones so here's the disclaimer if you're not wearing headphones and you're hearing this through speakers it's probably not going to make as much sense to you as if you were so please put on your headphones i've got a very simple setup today i'm running xeon synth okay into eight matrix i've got rosetta cells here Controlling it, it's just playing two chords just so that I don't always have to play the keyboard. I've got a sound on here, but I've got the effects turned off so that this is a nice dry sound. It's a horn sound. It's got a bit of decay on the, the sound itself, but there's no reverb, there's no delay, there's nothing. All you're hearing right now is the synth itself, and then I'm gonna put it through binaural location. Real simple, no big deal. Here's the MIDI routing. I just got Rosetta Cells doing, and that's just playing a chord progression you're going to hear a lot. On these other matrices, I've got some other stuff set up so that we can make a groove out of it later on. Okay, so let's stop that for a second. So let's talk binaural location. Here we go. So you'll see that I've got my left and right. That corresponds to the left and right speakers in your ears. And I've got the headphones in the center, and that's where I am. And so this is where the sound source is, is in, in relation to you in this virtual room in your head. I'm going to put on the left and right lock. It's going to keep the those speakers locked together, and I'm going to move everything in the sonic space. Now let's make sure we're routed into binaural location and born binaural location is going to the output. Here's what it sounds like by itself. And now we're going to move around the virtual space. Okay, so you can see I'm moving it all around. I can have it like behind me, I can have it in front of me or off to the side. That's in front. If we slowly move it behind us. Okay, so Blue Man Goo has some algorithms and some logarithms and some snake's blood and some tiger's venom all in the background going on to make this stuff work. I gotta be honest, I don't hear the 3D too much. And I don't know if that's just because I'm looking at the screen. I don't know if it's my headphones. I don't know what it is, but I can't shut my eyes and hear that something is in front of me or behind me as much as I have with other apps like this that I've tested. Okay, so I can put them in front. Now, like, let's unlock them and let's just mess around here. So, like, if I put them way out in front of me here, it's supposed to be in front of my, you know, sonic space. I mean, it sounds like they're... You know, let's try this. I mean, that kind of sounds like it's behind me, but, I don't know, not totally. I don't know. It feels to me like they are doing something, but whether they're doing what's advertised on the tin, I'm not entirely sure. Now, that's not to say that even though I don't hear it as it's advertised, that doesn't mean there isn't utility here. Let me explain something to you, guys. I don't always want to have to say something good about something, but I am a big believer in that even if something isn't what I expect it to be or expected it to be, or, you know, if it didn't meet my expectations, that doesn't mean I can't find a use for it. There have been millions of things that I've spent money on over the years and I bought it and I'm like, well, pfft, this doesn't do what I want, but now I'm kind of stuck with it and I've been forced to find a way of making it work or using it in a different way than I originally intended. So if I am going for positivity here, it's because I think there's utility in most things. If there isn't, I'll tell you, but otherwise I, I think there's an application for this and let's talk about that. So again, I don't really feel like this puts it in the 3D sonic space in the way I was expecting it to. I can't really hear it myself. But but it has some cool features that make it worthwhile. First of all, the LR lock is a good thing. Like I said, you can lock it together. You can move both of them together. You can unlock them. You can move them separately so you can make really weird. 
spaces. But what I do like is this feeling. That sense of phase, whatever algorithms they're using, I like the way they're clashing against each other when things move. And hey, if you do too, you're in luck. If we go up to the top here, you see this button called Orbit. This is the best function of the entire app, in my opinion. Now you see immediately you've got these uh, little things that are orbiting around the left and right. And basically what it's doing is it's creating a Doppler effect of movement. And that is super cool. Super, super, super cool. So again, I don't feel like this is in this 3D sonic space. Like I don't, I'm not getting the effect that it's spinning around my head necessarily, but that's really cool and I could make this usable. That's really nice. The way it's sort of swirling in this invisible space. So. Right? And then I could speed it up and I can get some sort of a... Which is really unique because it's kind of a tremolo, but not really. It's kind of a vibrato, but not really. It's kind of a Leslie, but not really. It's its own unique effect. So I could see there being use here. Like, okay, what happens if I put them real close to my, my head and then I hit the orbit? Maybe that's a little less obnoxious because it's not so jarring. But that's kind of nice. So, I'm going to hit play here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to skip that. So now, I'm going to throw in some drums. Now throw in a little bass line. Now, I get that the Xeon synth that's running through binaural location is a bit dry. Like, you know, I'd want to put some reverb and some stuff on it, but I'm leaving it dry for now just so that you can especially hear the binaural location effect happening. like this sense of space you get from this. And you hear how the, qu the loud quiet is much more dramatic when the, it's further away from you. So there's all sorts of different ways that you can position this that you can make it really cool. Okay, so I think that even though it's not necessarily doing what is advertised on the tin, so to speak, I still think that there's use here. Let's talk about the other two um, things here. So you've got mono input, right? So you can make it so it's just mono. And when it's mono, I can hear the um, location a little better, I gotta be honest still doesn't necessarily sound like it's behind me, but I can definitely hear it more clearly moving around the sonic space. Then there's this minimum delay button, and to be honest, the only thing I can think is that this must be a way to cut down on the amount of processing power it's using. I noticed that there is a little bit of dip in the DSP up here when uh, I was playing with it last night. But otherwise, I couldn't find anything about it. I couldn't find any documentation on their site about it. Um, and so I'm not entirely sure what that button does. If I find out, though, I'll put a little subtitle in and correct myself, as I always do. But otherwise, let's do... Let's turn off the left-right lock. I think that this is a very usable app, and it's a very useful app.
and it can come up with some really interesting sonic results. But I would just be aware that you may not experience the 3D room feeling that you might be expecting when uh, you go and pick up this, this app. So there is my uh, two cents. I want to thank the folks at Blue Mangoo. They've been amazing uh, helping out, and they've got some amazing apps. So go check out my videos on iFretless Bass and my video on Velocity Keyboard that I just put out because they've got some great stuff. I'll make sure to include all that in the description below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. Subscribe if you want to know more. If you have questions or anything, put it in the comments below, and I'll keep talking like this. People seem to like it when I go up to the end of the videos, and I don't know. I just can't keep talking talking like this because I don't know what's going on. I'm just spitting out words. Nobody knows what's going on. I don't know what I'm saying. This is what's happening. And oh my God, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.